Well, hi everyone, it's Marcus, and I'm zooming all the way from Bali at the minute. Now, if there's anybody, anybody in the world that loves pop culture and arts and entertainment and musical theater more than me, it's my delightful friend, Zoe Laidlaw. Zoe, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to call it. Right now, I'm sweating bullets. It's really hot over here. Um, but I've heard that Adelaide is freezing. What's going on? It's so cold. Like the weather is just terrible. Okay. Why didn't you come to Bali with me? First of all, you should have come. I wish I could. We could have been face to face by the pool, just over there with a cocktail in hand. Oh, we didn't plan this very well. Oh, next time, next time, because you know what? We have got a very, very special announcement that we are going to actually be doing this every single month, talking about our favourite shows, talking about our favourite theatre, talking about our favourite music, aren't we? Yes. Yep. Awesome. So, Zoe, my dear, tell me about the shows that you're looking forward to seeing coming up in Adelaide right now. There are like so many shows that I'm looking forward to. What's your um, favorite? my favorite one has to be the one that's coming up in September. Yeah, um, Rob Mills. Friday, September the sixth, Robert Mills performs the songs of Bon Jovi. How exciting! And you're going to be there. You're going to be front row. I can't believe you've done that for me. Thank you. Oh my god! So yeah, Rob is looking forward to meeting you. I can't wait. So tell me your favorite Bon Jovi song. My favourite Bon Jovi song has to be Runaway. Oh, that was their big third yeah. smash single that broke them through. Crazy. Oh, wow. And then after that, it was just like hit after hit after hit. It was like, you know, living on a prayer. You give love a bad name. You know, it's yes. just a blaze of glory. Oh, it went on and on. You know, <laughs> one of my favourite songs, Zoe, is probably always... Um, I don't know if you know that one, but always was probably um, the song for me that was like, wow, incredible. I love it. And, you know, I'm going to nah. call it like in the shower. I sing it better than Bon Jovi. I bet you do. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> um, so and obviously, so that, like we said, is in September, but there's another big show coming in September as well, which is um, 28th of September, Grease the Musical. Are you keen for that? I'm so keen for that. I actually, um, there's a lady in it that I used to, um, I went to Sydney um, with my dad and we went to see Australian Idol, like live, and I actually got to see Marsha Hines right oh. there at the judge. Oh, my goodness. Marsha Hines yeah. is crazy. And she's actually coming back to Adelaide as well very soon. She's got a show at Norwood Town Hall. Um, and yeah. also the Woodville Town Hall um, doing her um, celebration tour, um, you know, her anniversary of all of her massive, massive hits. Do you want to come with me to that? I would love to. All right. Book it in. Pop, pop it in your calendar, darling. We're going to go to it. Um, so, um, and also, yeah. so Greece. Oh, so no, we just spoke about Greece. Um, Chicago is the next one coming up. Um, Chicago, fourth of August, it commences. But this, this was your birthday present. This is my birthday present. Yes, fabulous. Yes. So, what about Chicago? Are you looking forward to most of all? Seeing my favorite actor, um, Peter Rosenthorn, who plays Brett and Captain Kim. Yep. How cool yeah. is that show? I love that show. So much fun. Great show. Um, now there's more. I mean, like Adelaide is not boring, right? Is Adelaide boring? Not at no, all. definitely not boring. Oh my god, high five you, honey. Um, so because there's also another show coming very soon, which starts the 7th of August, which is only what a couple of weeks away. Um, it's called 14, that's playing at um Adelaide Festival Center. Incredible show. It's all about um this young boy who discovers himself and you know comes out. And an incredible show written by Shannon, uh, Shannon Malloy. Incredible. Make sure you get onto that one. You know what? Maybe you and I will go and see that one as well. Yeah? Yeah. 
Oh my God, we've got so many hot dates coming up. I can't keep. <laughs> like your calendar is full, Zoe. It's um, so full. Oh my Lord. Now tell me. So um, on August the, uh, I think it's August the 10th, August the 3rd, I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember everything. I'm only a man. But about August the 10th ish, there's another show coming to the Regal Theatre called um, Tina Turner. Simply the best. Um, do you want to come to that? I'd like to come to that. Oh, I, I cannot even wait. What's your favorite Tina Turner song? Okay, there's two. Um, there is the best by Tina. I love. Yep. And my other one is the Nutbush City Limits. Oh, heaven! Can I tell you a fun fact, Zoe? Yeah. Um, fun fact is the only song Tina Turner has ever written, penned herself, is Nutbush City Limits. That was actually her song. She wrote it. I can't believe it. Not bad, hey? And like, She's I mean, very talented. I know. And, I mean, like, seriously, who doesn't love to do the Madison? <laughs> I've I, never heard of the Madison. <laughs> I know. A triple threat. She sings, she dances, and she writes songs. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so now, um, what else can you tell me? Like, who are you listening to at the moment? Are there any bands that you love listening to? Are there is there any musicians you love listening to? Um, well, I am on this app on my laptop called Spotify. I listen to lots of music um every night. Um my favorite one has is one of them has to be Bon Jovi. He's oh. my complete fave. Yep. Um, second Tina Turner. Oh. Yeah. And my other ones are like so Maroon Five, Adam Levine, my God. He's <laughs> so cool. Yeah. And Nicki Minaj and Rihanna, Beyonce, Neo, Chris Brown. Oh my god, you've got a plethora of hits right there. I um, do. Now, I, do. I, know for a fact, I was watching your uh, Facebook the other day. And you put up a video of you singing along to a very, very iconic 80s song. Do you want to tell me all about that? Oh, but this one um, that I'm about to tell you, um, he's my complete five and I'm like in love with him. Um, it's Boy George. <gasps> Don't say all the good words. I love that. It's Boy Absolutely. George. Yes. And yeah. could you sing in Karma Chameleon? If anyone wants to watch Zoe doing Karma Chameleon, get onto her Facebook page. She's iconic. Like, seriously, Zoe Laidlaw is beyond everything pop culture that you could ever imagine. This woman is amazing, and she sucks it up and soaks it in. Incredible. Zoe, I love your work. Please do not ever change for anybody. I won't. Oh. Especially you. Oh, yay, you. Um, so hey, what do you love about arts and entertainment? What do you enjoy? Well, since I work in the arts and entertainment with my family that you know about. Yes. Um, I love teaching people with a disability because that's my favourite thing to do. Yep. And because they actually, I look up to them and they look up to me. And I think that's very inspiring. Yeah. Okay, so if I said to you singing or dancing, what would be your favourite? Definitely dancing. Singing, I cannot sing a tune. So I love dancing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've, been, I've been dancing like probably two or three months since. Well, can I tell you, I mean, your uncles um, are obviously Richard and Tony, who yes. um, I met like years ago, a long time ago, probably before you were born, but don't judge me. Ageism is right. not okay. Um, but I met your um, uncles, Richard and Tony, back as Fifi and Rochelle in the Mars Bar days in the, oh, my goodness, I can't even remember when right. I started going there. But absolute icons of Adelaide, right? That's right. Um, did you ever see Richard and Tony perform as Fifi and Rochelle? Once I have. I went, oh, my God. Funny thing, Marcus, I, I, I 
actually went to the Mars bar um, once and I I didn't even know they were performing and I was like, who the heck are they? And apparently it was them. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. cool. Um, and so I was dancing. Now, these days you now work with Actors Inc., um, which is their business. Um, do you enjoy working with them? I do. I, lo- I love them very much. Is it hard working with your uncles or easy? Oh, my God. It's both hard and easy. Oh, I like it. So yeah. tell me, tell me um, we are about to enter another weekend soon. Um, What are you looking forward to about this weekend? What are you going to be doing? How does Zoe spend her time? Oh, so we are on um, two weeks holiday. So I think that's nearly over now. Yep. Um, one week is done. Um, this well, apparently I have to work. Um, at my other work tomorrow. So yeah, I do that every Wednesday and Thursday. Awesome. So Zoe, yeah. please tell everybody what do you love about arts and entertainment? Why is it so important in your life? Okay, that's a tricky question. Um, oh my God. <laughs> um, just uh, uh, <laughs> um, it makes you happy. It it does make me happy actually, and it makes like when I watch what I do in dancing, it reminds me when I was a student back in the day at Central Talent and at Zinc. Well, you know what, Zoe? I think you spread so much joy and so much cheer, and people just resonate with your energy. And you you make people smile. So never, ever stop it. Please promise me. I promise. Yay. Whoop. Um, Zoe, what an absolute pleasure. Um, and like you said um, earlier, um, we are going to be doing this every month now. We're going to have a good, of a good old chat about the shows coming up in Adelaide. We're going to talk about life. We're going to talk about, you know, positivity and good energy. And you know what? You're part of the team. You're part of the On The Marcus team now. I love it. Thank you. T Marcus all the way. Zoe, what an absolute pleasure. I love chatting with you. Good vibes, good energy, positivity all the way. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Bye.